If you watched my first video, you'll remember that I know absolutely nothing about game dev, and so instead of learning Godot normally but making classic games such as Pong, Pac-Man, or even Space Invaders, I'm instead going to go to Steam, find some games with some bad reviews, and see if I can recreate them. And now that I think about it, probably make them worse. <laughs> let's go! Alright Steam, let's see what we have. Stongabird, okay, this is, this is an interesting game, let's see. It does remind me of a certain game. How high can you get? I can probably get pretty high off this game, I'm gonna be honest. Probably like 20. Alright, let's see the reviews. Let's see what they have to say. This game is even harder than Dark Souls. It took me a whole 5 minutes to get the only achievement in the game. Can't wait to vote for it at the Game of the Year Awards. Alright, I know I said I wasn't gonna do any classic games, but I feel like we just have to do this one out of respect. Well, before we even get into Godot, it's time for me to show off my impressive pixel art skills. Uh... <laughs> At least the pipes will be better, right? Like, surely, like, we just gotta- LET HIM cook. Oh, uh, okay, you know what, let's just get to the coding. Just a little FYI, the only experience I have is three <laughs> hours of G develop, so we truly are learning from scratch. Alright, well surely this should be easy, all I have to do is- WHY WON'T THEY JUMP, PLEASE, PLEASE JUST JUMP, BRO, LIKE, I'M ACTUALLY BIT, JUST JUMP. Alright, the bird. well, the creature can jump. Alright, now we just need to get the pipes moving. The pipes move the pipes okay it actually works let's go all right now i just need to get a score on here somehow wait i actually did something right let's go now that was only game one so make sure you stick around because i end up trying to make a whole boss fight all right we're back on steam and you know what let's sort by platformers this time i think we're ready for a step up here we got pixel shooter with mostly negative reviews wait 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 wait, wait. hold on hold on there's just a gap between the tile <laughs> wait all right you know what let's see what the reviews have to say bad I mean, fair enough. Well, I'm down to recreate this game, but let's improve the art from last game and just get an asset pack from Kenny. All right, how do I import a tile map? Okay, here's the tiles. Let's set up some player animations. Now we just need to get the player to move somehow. So let's see what we can do. So theoretically... Oh, okay. It's, it's flipping the wrong way. Okay, but it's moving. It's moving. So that's, that's progress. Yes! Yes! Let's go! Okay, this is huge. And after that, all I had to do was just add enemies to the level. So I took sprites from the tile map, put them into the level, and made sure that he could move. But for some weird reason, when he got to a ledge, he just wouldn't turn around. And this is even after I have two Raycats turned on. Then, an hour later, I realized that I didn't have Raycats on because, uh, it's not auto-enabled. Why is this not auto-enabled? Why do I have to check a box to enable the rake of somebody? So then I implemented shooting, and, uh, yeah, okay, that's definitely working as intended. Shooting. Yeah, it's- it's- he's- he's actually just flying now. Oh, shooting. Yep, there we go. See, this is- this is great. And then all we need is a start and end screen, and here we are. It's- it's pretty much done. But now with that game under our belt, it's time to move on to- Oh, wait, what? I'm getting a call? Hello? Yo, you should try and recreate this game. Bro, what have you sent me? Hey yo, there's a sequel? Okay, so I made an aim trainer. I, I really don't know how to explain it first. So after creating the project, the first task I had was creating the time left timer. So you could, you know, know how long you had to click the targets. Then up next, I spawned and randomized the button's position. And for some reason, when I clicked on them, they didn't want to delete. And you do not want to know how long it took me to fix such a simple error. Literally just delete. You have no purpose. After that, I got a score. And again, this also took me a long time. Eventually, I realized that it was because I was adding the score in the button script, but the button would delete itself, meaning the score would just stay at two. Yep, just, just two. But after a bit, we got it working, and uh, here's what it looks like. Uh, oh man, oh, I'm really going off, huh? I am... Okay, you know, see, let's, let's skip over, the, we don't have to show this part, you know, we can, we can cut this out, right? We can... Alright, so I'm thinking we do one more game, but I want it to be 3D. We need to switch it up a bit. Wait, hold on, what's this? Meme hunt. Let's watch the trailer and see what's going on. Okay, so pretty much you just fight a ton of memes and try to hunt them down. Simple enough. You know what, I'm down to do this, but instead of fighting a ton of memes, why not just make a boss fight? Now the main thing that's different here is that it's in 3D, instead of 2D, which the last three games were in. So that means that we'll have to retire the incredible pixel art. Yeah, I know, it's sad, it's sad, but we have to use 3D models instead. But, like pretty much everything on this channel, I have haven't used Blender before either, so... Alright ladies and gentlemen, it is with great honor that I present to you my incredible creation, this guy. Wait, that's actually so cool. That's actually so awesome. That's actually awesome. Alright, but I need a name for this guy, so I'm just gonna send a message to one of my friends and... Gort... What? Gort?
Dude, that's such a bad name. Like what? Okay, so his name is Gort. Great. And, uh, whoa. Gord has got some crazy moves, okay. But anyway, after definitely not spending a couple hours watching Gort pull off the craziest dance moves of all time, I got to work on the player movement. And by get to work, I mean watching a tutorial. We ran into a couple bugs, but eventually we got it to work. But right now, all you can really do is just kind of stare at Gort, and we need a way to damage him. So I looked up free models and found a model of a gun. Then it was time to add the animation of the gun when you actually shot a bullet. Now the problem is, I am worse at animating than I am with pixel art, so good thing there's this very handy and convenient tutorial. After I got the animation done however, I placed it on the screen and here's what it looks like. But the game doesn't register if you actually hit Gort yet, so let's add a health bar and update it whenever he gets hit. While we're at it, why don't we add a death animation for Gort as well? Let's also unretire the pixel art and add a crosshair to the game. But right now the game's pretty boring as Gort doesn't actually attack you, so I thought it'd be cool to bring back the thinker from last video as his attack. And let's just say that spawning and adding a force to this thinker model didn't exactly go as planned. Alright Gort, I, I know you love aiming at the floor, but we can't be stormtroopers here, okay? You have to aim toward me, okay? Aim toward the player! Anyway, after fixing that all up, I wanted to do something easy, so I just added a simple start and end screen, as well as a intro animation for Gort. I then realized that the map was way too big, so I made it smaller, and I also added a health bar for the player. Unfortunately, it wasn't a simple copy-paste, because because my scene's hierarchy for the nodes was just really messed up. Like, I, I apologize to anyone who actually uses Godot. It, it obviously shouldn't look like this. But after fixing everything up, it was finally time to add the most important part of the game. Oh, are you gonna add a variety of attacks so it isn't the same attack over and over? No, are you dumb? The most important part is obviously Iron Man. Uh, yeah, I put Iron Man in the game. He doesn't really do much. He kind of just annoys you. But, uh, don't sue me, Marvel. Anyways, after adding Iron Man to the game, it was time to add the true most important feature into the game. Oh, so now you're like actually going to add new attacks into the- What? No, I was obviously talking about Gort dancing. That's like the key mechanic in the game. Then I exported the game to itch.io, but not before I encountered some peculiar bugs first. All right, here we go. Here we go. We're about to get him. Yes, let's go. Wait, what? Wait, why is it? That's not supposed to happen. Why Why is it doing that? Wait, Iron Man, please. Please, Iron Man, bro. Please, man. No, no. After exporting the game on itch.io, it was time to show my friends. Okay, this is beautiful. Woo, woo. All right, buddy. All right, buddy. Uh, does this guy kill me? This, you know, very <laughs> menacing creature following me? You, he's really hitting you. He's, he's, he is. He, he is, is quite really Oh, we missed that one, but you also fell off the ledge. You know, there's a jump button. There's there's a jump button. There's, there's a jump. Yeah, there has been a jump button. Okay. Well, you didn't tell me that could happen. <laughs> How did you die to Gore? I saw us the <laughs> Um. Let's oh, see. Okay. There's a ledge. Yeah. So what, what do you think of Iron Man? What do you think of him? I really don't like the fact that he's here just moving over me. I kind of hate it, actually. <laughs> oh, he missed. Okay. Okay. Wait, wait. He has it. He has it. He has it. Oh, he's dead. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, baby. Uh, you're and pushing him off the floor. I'll show you how great I am. Great I am. Great I am. All right. So, what do you rate? What do you rate the game? You know, out of ten. If Iron Man wasn't there, just like as a constant threat, I feel like I'd be a lot less anxious right now. So. I'm okay. Gonna eight, I'm gonna say eight out of ten. Eight, oh, yo, that's solid, bro. I'll take that. I will take that. Yeah, that, that's great. Um, I like. I mean, it's a really intricately designed game. On a good day, a three out of ten. Man. And I just want to take a moment to thank you guys for viewing the first video and also say that we have a Discord server now. So if you want to join, link is either in the description or the pinned comment. I'll figure out which one it's in. Um, and also that I probably should go review the code now because I'm going to be honest, I rushed through making those games um, and I spent more time editing this video than I did actually making them. So that's, that's probably not, not a good thing. thing. But with that being said, uh, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, stick around.